Hi, my name's John Pratchett, and in this video, I'm going to show you a little trick that I use so that I can control one vMix machine directly from another vMix machine. And this is not using Companion, this is not using Stream Deck buttons, but this is controlling another vMix machine based on the status of something that's happening on another vMix machine. Does that make sense? Have a look. So first off, if you are finding these videos useful, please subscribe and ding the little bell uh, so that you're made aware of any future content that I put up. So here's what I'm going to talk about in this one. Um, this is about connecting one vMix machine to another so that when something happens in one vMix machine, it sends a trigger to uh, another vMix machine to do something else. Now, this can be done to a point in some respects using central control and companion, uh, multiple shortcuts to a, to a degree, but that's you pressing a button and then sending out two controls. What we're talking about here is if something happens using a, a trigger, for example, on vMix 1, it sends a command to vMix 2 to do something else. A uh, simple example of how I would use this would be if we are doing some kind of live stream and we're doing it in a multi-language, um, kind of scenario. So I've got, let's say, two streams going out, one in English, one in French. And the main content is all in English, but VTs, for example, uh, we're going to have a UK-centric VT and we're going to have a French-centric VT. Could just be the language that is different. What would be nice would be that if I did all my cut on a single machine, which is all the speakers coming in, normal cuts, camera feeds, Remix core feeds, whatever, putting it all together. Um, that's going out to the two streams. And if I then went to a VT on my main VT machine, my second machine automatically cut up a uh, French version. Now, you can do in this particular instance, you could do that with um, companion and things like that. Or you can do it in a method that I'm showing here, more just to demonstrate the functionality, and then you can think of whether or not this is of any use to you in some of the scenarios and workflows that you guys are working in. Um, so let me cut you over to this normal vMix machine. Here's, here's my regular vMix machine. Um, and what some of you may not be aware of is that vMix can send out MIDI instructions. So not only can it receive MIDI instructions, but it can actually transmit them as well. So if we can get those MIDI instructions from one machine to another machine, then obviously the other machine could then receive those instructions and act upon them. So instructions currently on vMix are only sent, sorry, MIDI, MIDI file instructions are only sent with activators. So here we have a, uh, an activator settings that we put in our standard vMix machine. If I open this up for you, this is saying, control, we're going to send a MIDI note. And the MIDI note is on channel one, default. Uh, MIDI note is 60, which if you're interested is a middle C. Um, and it's going to do it on when input is set to, so basically our TX input is set to my deck link, which is what the video feed is you're on at the moment. It's just going to send that out. So that's a typical way you would send MIDI notes out of um, of vMix. You can do notes and control changes. If you want to know more about that, Google it. But most of the time, notes will be fine for you. Um, so, for example, this is going to send out a MIDI note when I put my main uh, camera to air. That's all well and good, but how do we get that to trigger something else on another machine? So, let's uh, show you the piece of software that we're going to use. And that is this, this is called RTP MIDI. So RTP MIDI is a, a little application. It's free to download. Uh, link is uh, in the description. And basically what that allows you to do is create a MIDI, virtual MIDI interface on your uh, machine and do the same on your other remote machine, whether it's on the same network, as long as you can, they can talk to each other um, via IP, then you can put that on the other machine and they can then talk to each other. And I'll show you how that's done. So let's switch over to 
this machine here. So we would download our RTP MIDI and we are going to install it. Nice and simple, it's installing an application. Um, once we've installed it, we can run this up, which we're doing here. And this is what we get. So immediately you can see that on my network, I have two versions of this running, one on, my, on a laptop and one on my main vMix machine. I haven't got one running on here, so I'm going to show you how to set one up, and this is how simple it is. All you have to do is go add, your machine name is the default, and then give it a port. Now I'm just going to use, you can use the default if you want, but I'm going to use 6101, only because I use the 500 ranges tend to be used for other things. 6101 and click enable. So this is now transmitting over the internet, and over, sorry, over the uh, network that I am available as a MIDI device to connect to. If we quickly go over to my other vMix system, uh, which is this one, close that down. You will see on here, I've done exactly the same thing. And I can now see John P. Nuck one okay, which is the system I've just set up. And all we have to do is click connect. There we go, shows you a little bit of latency between the two. Obviously, we're on the same network, so it's going to be really quickly, really quick. Uh, we can leave that as that is. You can click close on these if you wish to. Uh, it doesn't close the application. It's running in the background. It is a driver, effectively. Um, so let's now go to a, let's go to that one. So machine here is my, this one here is my second machine that I'm going to run vMix on. So I'm going to open up vMix now. You need to have uh, run this up before vMix. Obviously, once it's installed and running, then you can just leave it. Obviously, if you install it after vMix is already running, it needs to vMix needs to restart to be able to see the MIDI driver. So I'm just going to open a quick demo um, instance here. Right. So here is vMix. Let me show you how we would do this. I'll show you how it works. If I go to settings, let's create a shortcut. Go to shortcuts. Here's one already. I'll set it up again. We'll just do it. Let me switch that, that off and that off. If I go to add, now here's it. Let's see if this works. If I click find, now normally under this point, we would press a button on our MIDI controller. But what we can do is I'm going over to my other vMix machine, settings, activators, and here's my activator that I've set up. So if you remember, when I cut Decklink 1 to air, it's going to send out a MIDI note of 60. So let me just do that. Cut it to air, boom. Cut to air, and you can see it's selected. MIDI note 60, velocity 127, which is like you've hit the button really hard. That's the top level. So we've, we've memorized that. Going to click on OK. And what's important, this little box that says value, you want it to remember the 127 value, which is effectively pressing down on that MIDI note. And then we want to create, well, what do we want to do? We want a function. So let's just do a simple thing here. Let's overlay. Input in one, and let's do scoreboard. OK? So when this hits, receives MIDI note 60, 127, it's going to overlay the scoreboard on here. Now let's also do something that takes it out. So what you'll find, if I click find here, now looking on this other machine over here, if I then take me off air, you will see that it comes up a MIDI note of velocity zero. So this is why we want to click the value button. So I'm going to click on OK. So I want to say, when it's velocity zero, we want to do something else. So this is me coming out of um, being on air. So I'm going to just take the overlay off, for example. So let's do overlay input one out. Done. So here we go. So 127, when it sees a 127 coming in on note 60, it will put the overlay in one. When it sees a zero on 60, it will put, take the overlay out. So let's have a look. Nothing going on here. I'm now going to move my mouse over to this machine and I'm going to put myself to air. Let's just hit cut. Boom. And there you go. It's as quick as that. It has now triggered that other vMix machine to run a shortcut. And in this case, it was overlay. And I'm going to take myself off, off air on this particular one. And there you go. You can see it has disappeared and run the shortcut again to remove it. Um, it can be quite powerful if you think about what you could do with this now. We've got a system that will transmit 
controls and to another system based on its status. So based on is my deck link on air. If it is, then do this when I cut it to air. Um, there are hundreds of different things you could do with it. It's more the fact that you can now send a command from one machine to another. Uh, likewise, you could go back the other way if you want across your network. Um, this may be of use to you. So uh, it's a little trick that I found. I've put the link to where you can get RTP MIDI from in the um, description below. Go and have a look at that. Have a play. See if it's of any use to you. Tell me if there's any ways that you think this could be helpful uh, or whether you think it's a complete and utter waste of time. <laughs> in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Uh, some more videos coming out this week. So uh, stay tuned. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.